Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I'm all natural <laughs> because I really want to finish this vlog so you guys can see what I was up to in Canada. Yeah! So a few weeks ago I went to Canada to meet my YouTuber friend Evelyn. We met once in Beijing before and we really hit it off immediately. So I was like, I want to go to Canada to see her. And I did. And we had so much fun. We were I was there for seven days and we were in the city and we were in the countryside in her little family cottage. It was also freaking cool. So anyways, I hope that you will enjoy this video. If you do, please remember to like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling, click on the notification button, check out my social media or my Patreon, that would be really cool as well if you're feeling like supporting. I also have a program program service called Skype Ling Ling, so if you want to talk to me about China, if you have any fear or any, you need any advice on how to get there, what to do there, just uh, Book a time on lanaround.com. I am just gonna let you know that me and my friend Alicia we're gonna do live streaming on July 1st on AMA TV. You can check the links below or check it up here. We're gonna do it at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So be there. We're gonna talk about travel, our experience, and advice on how to travel around Asia. Yay! And on Sunday we're gonna do it on my channel. The same time again 2 p.m. July the 2nd and we are going to talk more about traveling so I hope you'll come and join in on one of these two live streams I'm excited to see you there anyways let's get back to the video I hope you enjoy and let's do it sure. I arrived in Montreal where Evelyn was greeting me in the airport with her Beijing t-shirt. I love BJ! <laughs> we went back to her apartment and the next few days we enjoyed each other's company and the beautiful city of Montreal. And here we are, Ling Ling is in Montreal and she is about to try her very first real Montreal bagel because they are fake everywhere else. Eat your bagel, Ling Ling! Okay, here we go. Mmm! Mm. Is it amazing. This one is sesame. Yeah. Mm. Is it still hot? And it's warm, yeah. They are, uh, the dough is made, it's then briefly boiled in sweet water and then finished off in a wood burning stove. <laughs> 外国人都特别喜欢吃面包 By the way, if you're wondering why I speak Chinese on camera, well, it's just because I was actually making these videos for the Chinese audience on Bilibili as well, but I thought I would share this with you anyways, and yeah, now you can practice some Chinese. Uh. Of course, one of the first stops on our little trip around Montreal was Chinatown, such a beautiful place. Evelyn, she's a real foodie, so she of course wanted to go and get a jianbing, which is a very common street food snack in Beijing and around other places in China as well. Montreal, Canada, the Jian Bing. I tell you, that restaurant is Chinese. He is from China. He is working here. So it is a Chinese made Jian Bing. And this Jian Bing has a lot of food and it is almost the same as the Chinese Jian Bing. Let's try it. Oh, 
Another thing when Ling Ling is on vacation, she's always allowed to have one ice cream a day. This sorbet was so tasty. Mmm. We also went to a food market where Evelyn took me around and I got this really cool hot dog. Oh my god, it was so tasty. This is my friend Evelyn. She's a foreigner. And last week, she took me to see a beautiful place. Montreal, good place. She also bought a hot dog. And what is this hot dog? Can you tell me? Goonjo roll. Yes, Goonjo roll. Goonjo roll. Yes. So she has to try it first. Hmm. Hehehe. Hmm. Is it good? And how to? Hmm. It's good. Quebec is famous for the maple syrup, so of course I had to buy some as a souvenir. The most amazing experience was when Evelyn took me into the church and we saw this beautiful light show. A few days inside Montreal, we borrowed a car and then we went to the countryside. We stayed in Evelyn's family's little cottage and we drove around to look at the beautiful landscape and the small cute villages. When me and Evelyn first met in Beijing, I told her that I would only come to Canada if she could find a horse for me. She was so nice, she actually did that. So we drove around and then we found a farm and we talked to the owner and she was so lovely. She said of course we could come inside, we could talk to the horses, we could make our videos, whatever we felt like. I was so happy to be around horses again. Horses are like my favorite animals. Look, how cute are they? Hello! <laughs> yeah, no. Hello! <laughs> Edward! <laughs> We're trying to make a video here, it's weird, stop <laughs> it! that was all for today I hope that you enjoyed this little vlog from Canada seven days I was trying to put it into this little video it's really hard sometimes because I have way too much footage but I hope that you liked it please give me a thumbs up subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling and I hope you're having a great day evening wherever you're on the world and I'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling's out see ya and bye bye